Hello, today uh, this is our uh, uh, lesson, lecture, lecture, uh, this is our lesson number five, and this is lesson uh, delivered from Center Elite. Here you see our gratitude uh, uh, and our greeting from Center Elite for uh, 2021, and uh, what we do actually. Uh, we are International Youth Center, uh, so we uh, teach English, German. We um, support and we provide practice abroad, I mean language practice. We give uh, professional skills and qualification, of course, because we uh, give at the end of our learning qualification uh, paper means certificate or diploma. Of course, everything is based on computer knowledge. So I am Natalia Chuprigina today and I am delivering you this lesson about going shopping. This is September, this is late September and it's high time already to go shopping to buy some warm dress because it's getting colder and colder every day. Not so hot as in summer. So we must think about that. And our lesson today is called Go Shopping. To go shopping это идти за покупками. Мы можем покупать clothes, одежду, and food, uh, еду, да? and some gadgets, gadgets, computers, uh, for example, mobile phones and uh, home appliances, uh, some garden appliances, etc. But today we uh, only start speaking about go shopping as you uh, expect it would be the shops or the types of shops. No. It would be how to tell the price and how to know what are the numbers. We are continuing our very, very deep topic, numbers. Shopping uh, actually will be the next time. And today uh, on the agenda uh, will be numbers and prices. Um, so go, sh go in shopping, we uh, will see weekly um, discounts. Yeah, sheets from supermarkets and uh, some uh, interesting uh, information about integers means some mm, normal uh, numbers, yes, uh, and decimals. Uh, decimals means uh, with the numbers which are written and set in comma with some parts after normal number. So you see here today uh, we should understand the, the rules of the lesson. Integers, those are numbers, any number. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 12, 16, 21, 56, 100, 200, 300, 1000, 1450 or we could say 1450. 3111, or we can say 3111. Uh, decimals, yes, it's uh, one and a half, two and three, ten and six, twenty five and four, ninety nine, ninety nine, five hundred five and sixty, uh, twelve hundred forty five and ten. 50 cents, 75 cents, 99 cents. Great. And now, since we know already what are integers and what are decimals, oh, we go to our activity time. Let's learn some prices, how to say prices. Here we have some rules how to read decimals because uh, there are different ways. There are American ways, there are uh, British ways again of reading them, and there are international ways when you don't know what currency actually you have. Then you must uh, say what are um, 
these uh, banknotes. Uh, maybe they are dollars, maybe they are pounds, or maybe they are grivnas, Ukrainian, or uh, Chinese yuan, or Russian rubles, uh, or uh, German uh, or European or euros. Uh, we don't know, then we must specify that. Okay, but in general, there are three basic variants, three basic options how to say decimals. It's um, one and a half or one comma five, two comma three, four fifty one. You can you can omit comma. You can miss it. You can, you can say four pause fifty nine. How to read prices? Yeah. It's already 7.50. That's 7.50 without saying dollar because we know uh, precisely we know we are in America or in some dollar region and we know what we mean dollar. Okay, well then we say 7.50. Then we can say that's seven dollars fifty cents. Uh, sorry. Mm -hmm. Sorry for the phone calls because I always forget to switch off my phone while uh, I am recording. But no problem. So now today we continue. Uh, that's seven dollars fifty cents, and only like that seven dollars fifty cents. Or we could say that's seven dollars and fifty cents. Even in London, you uh, hear that seven dollars fifty cents, please. Yeah, and a smile. Yeah. Uh, if you have only cents, you don't need to say dollar. Uh, that's 99 cents. Or uh, if it's uh, only dollars, yeah, or you say that's 10 dollars. That's all. Uh, since it's clear how to say the price, we go further. And here we have very interesting table uh, according to our budget. You see our budget is on the left. This is a column on the left. It means the budget, how money, how much money you have uh, at hand, yes? How much money you have now in your portemonnaie or in your purse. Uh, okay, the first price is uh, 10, yeah, 10 dollars. What can we buy with this 10 dollars? Let's see, let's choose. There are two objects, they are hats. First is Santa Claus hat, it is written here, by the way. And uh, uh, the second is another hat, just hat, just for autumn, just male hat or ladies hat, no problem. Uh, we are not interested now in that. Uh, we are interested in our budget. What could we have uh, bought? Of course, Santa Claus hat. It costs about, uh, uh, I don't see here, quite well. It costs about four dollars uh, uh, 89 cents. Continue. Let's continue. The second uh, sum is five dollars. What could we have bought with five dollars? We have two objects again. This is boring machine. It's like mm -hmm. yes and uh, screwdriver. Screwdriver. Screwdriver costs three dollars, and that's why, of course, we can buy screwdriver better with five dollars than boring machine. Um, enough time, we have twenty-five dollars in our purse, and we need to buy something for our dog, or actually for our dog, not cat, because cats don't walk with leashes, yeah. And we have here again two denominations. They are dog bed and leash. Okay, what could we have bought with $25 in our pocket? Uh, $16.50 costs uh, leash. Yeah, and of course we can buy leash for our dog. With $50, we could have bought uh, ladies' shoes on high heels. Not, of course, loafers, not shoes, but lady, uh, ladies' shoes. Uh -huh. With $1, oh, with $1, what could uh, have been bought? It could be uh, bought only baby bottle, $0.99. Cents. 
yeah, almost one dollar. With thirty dollars, we could have bought um, a CD or some gadget. Now, of course, uh, some appliance for game. Of course, we could have bought only CD with fifteen dollars. And the last but not least, uh, seventy-five dollars. What could uh, be bought with seventy-five dollars? Of course, not pink pullover because it's uh, more expensive. But we could have bought green sweater because it costs sixty dollars, and we have in our budget seventy-five dollars. I think it's quite clear now how to read the prices. Let's go further, and here we see uh, some uh, tables when we buy and we have more money than it's needed to, um, for the thing to be bought, and that's why we should have a change, some small money for a change. Uh, there are two uh, infographics or two tables where we can, we can see uh, what change could we have uh, had from our purchase? Uh, what change will be given to you in the first uh, uh, table from one dollar if you would like to buy uh, a lollipop for 25 cents? You give uh, to a seller one dollar and you want only one lollipop. Then he would give you a change for, with uh, 75 cents, of course. Let's can, let's uh, calculate, let's count further on a teddy bear. You like the teddy bear, you would like to mm, uh, to do some uh, present, yeah, to make a surprise, and then you would like to buy this teddy bear for some baby. It costs $2.49. And you have three dollars. Would it be given to you back? It would be given about 51 cents. Three minus two and 49 makes 51. Zero to 51. If you like ice cream, then you go and buy ice cream, but you have five dollars in your, um, in your uh, money, yeah, and ice cream costs only one dollar and fifty cents. What will you do then? You will give these five dollars to the seller, to the sales assistant, and he will give you back a change three dollars and fifty cents. Just you have to calculate very quickly. You must count well. You must be good at mathematics so that you know what change you are to get. You would like to have a football. You have seven dollars and football costs only six dollars and ten cents. How many uh, cents will you be uh, given back? Ninety cents. Course 90 cents, etc. There are a lot of things to calculate. These are uh, small prices and these are small sums of money. If we go to the next table on the right, you see that there are quite uh, big, heavy sums of money sometimes, and uh, we have to choose. For example, the last one a video camera. Uh, so uh, you would like uh, to buy it and it's uh, $100 at hand, yes? But it costs $95.02. What will you do? Of course, you will give $100 at the shop and they will give back to you how many cents or dollars? Right, $4.90. Eight cents. When you calculate, it's okay. Uh, so uh, this is very good for your practice. It's like worksheet for you. You can uh, study these tables. You can think how to say the prices, and you can practice. Of course, it will be very good for you here. And if you go to any supermarket and uh, to any shop, you will be already able to say 
what you would like to buy and how much does it cost, you can ask, and what change you will get after that. Just be good at mathematics and count well. Okay, let's go for the run. And uh, at every supermarket in the world, I think, in any brand of supermarket, you can find such weekly discounts uh, for maybe weekend or for some definite period of time or for uh, the whole week. It um, depends because uh, before holidays, you can have longer discount time or term. And just um, in the mid of summer, you can have one day, two day or a weekend discount, and that's all. Okay, Aldi, uh, this is a very good German brand, uh, uh, chain of supermarkets with discounts already. And uh, that uh, supermarket uh, um, is very popular with students, with school children, with uh, those who live nearby, of course, and with travelers. Let's uh, start starting the prices there. Uh, for a pound, LB means, uh, this is shortened, pound, 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 makes 400 approximately 450 grams. Okay, for a pound of grapes, you will pay $1.19. It's okay, it's not very, very expensive. When you would like to buy apples, for example, red apples, you would pay for uh, what? Again, for a pound, because I don't see, this is very, very small letter uh, for some, Pieces, yes, for a bag from two to four pieces, it uh, d um, depends on the weight, two dollars and 49 cents. If you'd like to buy, for example, tomatoes, you uh, pay per pound only 95 cents per pound. If you want kilo or if you want two pounds approximately, yeah, it will make uh, about one kilo, yeah. It will cost you how much? One dollar and ninety cents. That's okay. Why not? Uh, on the uh, right, weekly discount, there is another um, brand. Yes, ideal market. For school days, you see, they give very good discounts. I mean, for the start of school. And shop the ideal way every day, they say. It's from the USA. And here you can find very good discounts for meat. But let's uh, study what they offer us. Uh, when it is cut free, yes, it's product of the USA. This is a whole boneless pork uh piece yeah which is packed and this uh piece weighs this it weighs from seven to nine pounds be attentive it's not for one pound or for the whole pack price it's only for one pound price and the pack contains from seven to nine pounds so you have to calculate to calculate well to count well one pound costs one dollar ninety nine cents and nine uh, pounds, how much will they cost? Of course, about what? 12, 13 dollars. You must count that. Uh, let's go um, a little bit below. We shall find uh, Vernon Manor semi boneless half ham. Again, for one pound you will pay $1.49, but you must see, you must always see very attentively, watch how many pounds are there in that pack. Again, we have here family packs on the right, chicken leg quarters, yeah, uh, four means, four chicken legs, and uh, this cost 59 cents a pound. And T-bone porterhouse steaks, uh, family pack again, uh, for, for a pound, not for, for a pack, you will pay $4.99. So uh, learn to read 
or advertise it. Learn to read the prices in the supermarkets, not only in America or in Britain, but everywhere in the world. You have the same denomination. We have here the same denomination in the guess in Ukraine and in China and in uh, Germany and in Italy and France. You will find everywhere the same system of supermarket discounts. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think everything is uh, quite clear. We have had very good practice and now it's time for summary of today's class. And recap number one, we have learned how to read decimals, yeah, uh, via comma or the word and or just you uh, make some pause, yes, you stop for a while, for a second, for a minute, for a moment, like 7.50, 4.59, okay? Recap number two, we have learned how to read and say the price, because the price sometimes is based on our ability to read decimals. And we can read, that's uh, 7 dollars that's $7.50, that's seven dollars fifty cents and you must uh, remember what i have told you already it depends in what country you are for example in france if you say it costs uh, i don't know francs in francs but in euros it will cost some 12 euros and you give 12 dollars it will be wrong of course you must calculate well Recap number three, we had practice in reading and understanding weekly discounts. This is the last practice with us, uh, multicolored, with meat, yes, and we understood that there is the price for one unit, maybe for a pound, and we have here 100 gram uh, price, and uh, there could be many in a pack. You must calculate. And recap number four, we have learned some new items of assortments when we uh, played with our budget, what we can buy. There is a list of new words there. Yes, great. I think that everything is clear so far, or not? If it's so, then I thank you for your joining the class today. And if uh, something is still unclear, you can always come back to any slides that you uh, didn't understand. You can listen once more, you can practice once more, you can uh, have uh, some notes, yes. And feel free to write your comments under this video. We see your comments and to go to our social nets, uh, to our YouTube channel and uh, be active then you will learn more. Okay, I uh, tell you today goodbye, have a nice day, have a nice week, and we meet in a day with a new video. So till Wednesday, bye.